What's up, man? What's up, bro? It's a nice movement you got going on there. What are you working on? I was having a little bit of knee pain, and this guy suggested that I do some back pedals on the treadmill. That's really awesome. I like how your knees are flexing and extending, but there's no weight on you. Does it hurt? It doesn't hurt, but my quads are on fire. Your quads are on fire. That's great. It's great because the knees are focused on flexion and extension by way of the quad receptors. Hence why the quads are on fire. This is your home, Dr. Flex, coming to you live from a place near you, possibly the gym, possibly your living room, possibly anywhere outside, folks. At any point in time, you can work on your extension and flexion weight free. Motion is motion, and any type of movement within the knees is going to benefit you to an extent. We're joined by King Kansa, and we're going to be diving deep into this nice little warm-up pattern, which can aid you in every single one of your lifts and all aspects of your daily activities. We're really fucking up that vast of folks. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. All audio within these tracks can be found on all platforms. My esteemed guests, hola, bonjour, thank you for joining us as we embark on this illuminating journey into the realm of backwards walking. Let us delve deep into the intricate biochemical, anatomical, and physiological phenomena that underpin its transformative power with meticulous detail. Me and you, yes, just me and you. <laughs> We're going to uncover the specific body parts and systems that experience profound benefits through this unique modality. See, one of the first things that we're going to bring to mind and call to your attention are the fluid dynamics and synovial fluid circulation within your painful knee joints. As we engage in backwards walking, the synchronized movement of our lower limbs orchestrates a hydraulic marvel within the knee joints. See, with each step taken in reverse, synovial fluid, which is the lubricating fluid encapsulated within the joint cavity, it experiences a dynamic form of circulation. This process optimizes nutrient delivery to articular cartilage and facilitates the metabolic waste removal and fosters an environment conducive to joint health and resilience. Whole lot of ands, folks. There's a whole lot of benefits for these movements that you were seeing above. The backwards walking can be done on the treadmill, on an incline outside, or through progressive overload by the mechanism of the weighted sled, as you can see me demonstrating. Additionally, there is a neuromuscular control and proprioceptive enhancement in the lower extremities as you practice this movement. Within the neuromuscular realm, backwards walking acts as a potent catalyst for proprioceptive refinement, particularly within the lower extremities. The intricate interplay between proprioceptors, which are the specialized sensory receptors embedded within your muscles, your tendons, your joints, they are heightened as we navigate the spatial complexities of reverse locomotion. See, this heightened proprioceptive acuity translates to enhanced joint positions. Sense, right? You have to sense some of these movements before you even perform them. Improve balance and heighten motor coordination, culminating overall in a superior athletic performance and giving you the ability to 
prevent injury. Mind exploding as we speak because understand this. It is your foot that comes in contact with the ground first. And that is your first and sometimes your only form of stimulus before you have to take action. Beneath the surface of your plantar fascia lies a network of connective tissue awaiting activation through backwards walking. See, a dense band of fibrous tissue spans the sole of your foot. If you didn't know, now you know. And it experiences dynamic adaptations in response to the demands of this reverse locomotion as we and i will always say we because you're supposed to be doing this with me as we engage in backwards walking the plantar fascia undergoes a controlled stretching and loading and this promotes its enhanced elasticity the tensile strength and its ability to absorb shock this planned and programmed fortification of fascial integrity not only bolsters foot arch support, right? Because I know there's a lot of people with collapsed arches suffering on the daily. It not only bolsters foot arch support, but it also mitigates the risk of conditions such as plantar fasciitis, but also Achilles tendonitis because the fascia is connected. If you didn't know, now you know. I'm all about movement prep, folks. See, prior to engaging in strenuous physical activity, an effective warm-up routine is paramount to prime the body for optimal performance. Within this context, Backwards walking emerges as a quintessential component of movement preparation. I'm talking about an underdog, a game changer, and how you are able to force blood into the areas surrounding the knees. But we're also targeting the gluteal musculature. As we traverse in reverse, <laughs> you see what I did there? I'm a rhymer, really. I'm a rapper, obviously, but as we traverse in reverse, the gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus are all systematically activated, generating a potent cocktail of neuromuscular stimulation, blood flow enhancement, and dynamic flexibility. This preemptive activation not only optimizes hip stability and mobility, but also serves as a prophylactic measure against hip impingement, and lower back pain. The benefits don't stop there, folks. There are metabolic adaptations and anaerobic conditioning of the quadriceps. <clears throat> See, in this realm of metabolic adaptations, backwards walking, especially when you decide to progressively overload and consistently get stronger across the fascia, surrounding the knee joint there is a multifaceted stimulus for the quadriceps and if you didn't know since i put so many diagrams up the quadriceps are a powerful group of muscles spanning the front of the thigh within this metabolic crucible both aerobic and anaerobic energy systems are harnessed fostering adaptations at the cellular level only through backwards walking could you believe this it's fucking amazing aerobic pathways are engaged as sustained backward locomotion stimulates oxygen delivery and utilization within the muscle fibers promoting endurance and aerobic capacity simultaneously anaerobic glycolysis is recruited during brief bursts of high intensity backward propulsion, eliciting lactate production and subsequent buffering capacity enhancement. This metabolic 
versatility not only enhances athletic performance, but also augments recovery kinetics and metabolic efficiency. See, as you condition your quadriceps to continuously move backwards at an increasing load tolerance, and I've experienced this before, so that's why I'm speaking from the context of an expert, right? As you progress, the conditioning provides you the ability to continuously apply braking forces in whatever sport you decide to be in. You need to stop on a dime, it's okay, because your body has already experienced dozens, hundreds, thousands of braking force actions through this backwards walking. I don't know about you, but my man parts are starting to stand upright simply by talking about this. <laughs> no, for real, it really helps though. Like I had knee pain for years. I have multiple clients that had knee pain for years. And by prescribing this to them for a couple of months, boom, it's all gone. Surely there are other exercises that you can do. And I look forward to giving them to you for free, as long as you like, comment, and subscribe. But this is a hallmark and there is not a lot of risk. I want you to understand that there's not a lot of risk as you perform these exercises. Additionally though, and this is the last thing I know, I know it's getting a little frisky, you know what I mean? Additionally, and this is what I like to do, close your eyes, breathe, extremely deep breaths, and notice how the cognitive engagement enhances your spatial awareness and proprioceptive feedback. See, amidst this physiological symphony of backwards walking lies a profound cognitive engagement that transcends mere physicality. Because as we're navigating the spatial complexities of reverse locomotion, you can't see what's behind you. Be safe, get into a safe area, and perform these movements, of course, right? But as we navigate the spatial complexities of reverse locomotion, there's a cascade of cognitive processes. It's ignited, like that. Enriching our perceptual acuity and spatial awareness. See, proprioceptive feedback from lower limb receptors is integrated with visual cues, vestibular input, and environmental stimuli, fostering a seamless fusion of mind and body. And this heightened cognitive engagement not only enhances athletic performance, but it also cultivates mindfulness, present moment awareness, cognitive flexibility, this audio was brought to you by Dr. Flex. In conclusion, the marvels of backwards walking extends far beyond the surface and it penetrates the depths of our biochemical, anatomical, and physiological landscapes. See, from synovial fluid circulation in the knee to enhanced proprioceptive feedback in the lower extremities, and from dynamic adaptations in the plantar fascia to cognitive engagement and metabolic conditioning, every facet of the human organism, AKA you and me, cause you're a freaking human, dude. I'm not talking to no robot right now. Your knee hurts, don't it? In it, Jack. <laughs> Stop playing around, your knee hurts. You can do this and it can only be five to 10 minutes a day. I'm trying to motivate you right now. It's easy. You put a couple of pounds on that sled, you move backwards, boom, your knee doesn't hurt anymore. Blammo! <laughs> I think it was tripping right now, but not for real. We're experiencing profound benefits through this transformative modality, and it scales too. Your grandma can do this, buddy. Your three-year-old child can do this as well. As we embrace the journey of backwards walking, we're gonna unlock the full potential of our bodies and minds, transcending boundaries and embarking on a path towards holistic well-being and athletic excellence thank you for tuning in 
right? Of course. This is a long spiel. Replay this. Because every single aspect of what I have stated is valuable. And there are more videos on the way to rid you of your joint pains, muscle pains, creative pains, neuromuscular pains, cognitive pains, social pains. Hey, yo, you got an issue? Just drop it in the comments below and I might be able to help you. Much love, peace and love. Stay prayed up too. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Amen. Symphonies Volume 1 available on all platforms.